goal celebration has become something of an art form in the world of football, but that of Robert Kidiaba is still pretty unique. The flamboyant goalkeeper has been performing it throughout his 14-year career. The donkey ride has become his signature move, mimicked on pitches and streets by the children of the Democratic Republic of Congo. But how did it start? I began doing the dance when I was still at school. I was very sporty when I was young. I did wrestling, gymnastics, karate and judo. It meant I was very fit. And because everyone danced when we scored a goal, I decided to do my own dance on the ground. That's where it came from. Kids all around the world know about Robert Kidiaba. They all try and copy his dance. I think it's magic. Kidiaba was born in Kipushi, a small mining town 30 kilometers or so from Lubumbashi. It was a tough upbringing, money was tight, but football proved a pleasant distraction. His performances earned him comparisons with his namesake, Robert Kazadi Mwamba, as I is goalkeeper at the 1974 FIFA World Cup. But he didn't start his career between the posts. My first position was centre forward. I first played here in Lubumbashi for the Don Bosco club before moving to Kananga to play for AS San Luc. They're known as the Railwaymen, and due to work commitments, their first team goalkeeper was often unavailable. One day, we had to play a local league match, and the keeper wasn't there again, so I took his place. I can't remember the exact reason why I decided to do it, but I loved the experience. And after that, I replaced him each time he wasn't available. It made me decide to give up being a centre forward and become a full-time goalkeeper. Robert's move to Kananga may have brought him a new position, but it didn't bring stability. He spent just one season with San Luc before returning to Lubumbashi in 2002 to join Congolese giants TP Mazembe. And the move proved very fruitful. I began my career here as the team's third choice keeper. When I arrived, the local league championship had just ended and we'd qualified for the quarterfinals of the African Champions League. Though unfortunately, we didn't win it. By 2009, I was the team's number one, and we were very determined to win the Champions League. After a four decade gap, Les Corbeau became Africa's champions once more. Their success meant they qualified for the FIFA Club World Cup. But the team failed to win a single game. For Robert himself, it was a personal disaster. They lost to Asian champions Po Hang, and then he was sent off in the fifth place playoff against Auckland City. But Mazembe retained their African title in 2010 and returned to the year end competition. It all went rather better this time. Victories over Mexico's Pachuca and Brazil's Internacional meant they became the first African side ever to reach the final. We wanted to do better when we took part in the Club World Cup for the second time in 2010. We left any thoughts of what had happened in 2009 behind. We had to play a tough series of matches and we had to perform at our best. Thankfully, God helped us and we went all the way. It was a great experience, but unfortunately we were defeated in the final. The FIFA Club World Cup title may have eluded him, but Kidiaba has won almost every other honour available to him with Mazembe. He's also earned 41 caps for the DRC's national team and captain the Leopards at the recent African Nations Championship in South Africa. When I was a little boy, my dream was to play for TP Mazembe and the national team. Representing Congo's national football team means everything to me. I love my country. No matter where we play and who we face, I'm always ready to fight and give my very best for the national team. Robert is not only a talented goalkeeper, he's also a great person. 
You can see he's adored wherever we go. And I've rarely seen someone with such stature in their domestic football who's always so nice to people. He spends a lot of time, hours and hours, with the supporters. He's a great guy, and he's someone who should stay at this club, TP Mazembe, for the rest of his career. He's someone who, I hope, will continue to give of his best in years to come for Congo's national team, both on and off the field, because he's a model professional. He may be 38, but Robert's performances this season have once again been of the highest standard. He didn't concede a goal in the first 12 matches of the league campaign and predictably, Mazembe are once more the team to beat. The club are currently in the mix for their fourth consecutive domestic title and they're also in the group stages of the African Champions League. There's little doubt Robert Kidiaba has had a huge impact on football in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but he's not immortal. When will he finally bring an exceptional career to an end? I can't say how much longer I'll continue to play. I'll keep playing for as long as I feel fit enough. I don't know exactly when I'll stop. I just want to keep playing. I think the best thing to say is that I'll take it day by day. We'll see what happens.